makeup looks one will be sixth grade one will be seventh grade and one will be eighth grade now this is just my personal preference on like makeup for these grades if you have a different opinion that is totally okay so good yeah, I don't care this is just my opinion and if you don't agree with it then oh well because you don't have to do this no one's making you do this look um but yeah and this is also my first video to my back to school series, so if there's any back to school videos that you want to see, make sure to comment them down below because I'm going to be working on them. And I'm really pumped because last year's back to school series was awful. There was like two videos. <laughs> but this year I'm definitely planning on filming a bunch and a bunch and a bunch and a bunch of videos for my back to school series. With that said, let's just get on into the video. Okay, to start off with the 6th grade makeup tutorial, I'm going to be putting on some moisturizer because you are never too young to start taking care of your skin. Next, I'm taking my mascara and applying it to my top eyelashes to make my eyes pop. Lastly, I'm applying this lip gloss to my lips to make them look plump and just to add a little feminine touch. So 7th grade is usually when you start struggling with acne, so I'm going to be taking a concealer and applying it to any of my blemishes. Dark circles have become a common problem with every woman. Dark circles make you look tired and dull, so I'm using a concealer to hide those dark circles. Now to have your makeup last all day, apply a translucent powder. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be putting this bronzy colored eyeshadow into my crease. This eyeshadow is great because it's made with coconut water causing it not to crease throughout the day. Next I'm simply taking Venus from the Naked Basics palette and applying it to my inner corner. and then finishing off the eyes with some mascara. Finally, to wrap the whole look together, I'm going to be putting on a tinted lip balm. Eighth grade, you are officially the rulers of the school. So to start this look off, I'm going to be priming my skin. Priming your skin is very important, especially for a long day at school. Now I'm applying a BB cream all over my face because 8th grade is usually when you start to get some discoloration in your skin. Next, I'm going in with my concealer under my eyes because, again, dark circles are not so fun. And I prefer translucent powder over tinted powder because tinted powder usually comes off more cakey. Now, I'm dusting blush over my cheeks because I kind of look dead and I just want to put some life back into my face. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be putting Faint from the Naked Basics palette into my crease to add some definition, and it's a really nice brown color, so it's not too dark. And then I'm taking Walk of Shame and putting that in the middle of my eyelid, and then Venus in the inner corner and on my brow bone. A 
Okay, so 8th grade is usually the year you start wearing eyeliner, so I'm going to be using an eyeliner stick on my upper lash line. You could totally use liquid too, but I usually have to be in the mood for liquid. And so this is just defining my eyes and making my eyelashes look thicker. And to finish off the look, I'm going to be using black mascara. This specific mascara is my favorite because it has two wands, 